So I'd like to talk a little bit now about the MQTT protocols model for communication. MQTT is the main way the automation systems I've built communicate with one another, not HTTP or direct UDP packets or, or anything like that. I use the MQTT protocol, which has high level libraries that uh, manage the connections between the internet connections, the TCP IP connections between each of these elements. So MQTT is a event publication and subscription model. And the publication and subscription distribution is managed by the MQTT broker. In my case, I use the Mosquito broker. I like Mosquito because it is cross-platform. It's a C++ application. It has been compiled for Windows, Mac, Linux, and on the Linux side, it's available in both PC and ARM flavors. So that in addition to uh, some old junky server running Linux, you can also load Mosquito on a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone Black, Orange Pi, what have you. But the main point is that it is a broker and it brokers between each of the MQTT clients. Here I show MQTT client number one, client number two, and client number three that I've labeled specifically as OpenHab. One thing to understand about OpenHab is that even though it's a big, huge home automation system, uh, from an MQTT protocol point of view, it is a client, not the broker. I did not understand that initially. Anyway, so the MQTT consists of messages that go back and forth between the client and the broker. And each message is about an event. And events have two parts. The first part is a topic. So here I show a topic A publication. The second part is the content or message associated with the event. Both the topic and the message are strings. So I'm just showing A and B here, but the topic could be such a thing as doorbell, light switch, light zone, washing machine, fan status, whatever it is that you are working with in your control system. Messages, again, are strings that could be anything. So a doorbell might be push and release. Washing machine might be on and off. Uh, a fan might be on, off, belt break those sorts of messages. But each time the MQTT client number one publishes topic A, it goes to the MQTT broker over here. Now the other clients can optionally choose to subscribe to that very same topic A. Again, they subscribe by the topic name. So this guy publishes A. If they have previously sent a subscription to the MQTT broker for topic A, the broker will relay the event all the way over to this MQTT client. Similarly, MQTT client number two has also previously sent the MQTT broker uh, a notification that it would like to subscribe to topic A. So whenever MQTT client one publishes it, the broker will copy the event both to clients two and clients three. A given client is not limited to only publication. You can both publish and subscribe from the same client. So here we have OpenHab MQTT client three publishing a topic B that again goes to the broker. MQTT client one, having previously subscribed to topic B, will get a copy of each event that the MQTT client number three publishes. However, MQTT client two only sent a subscription for topic A. It didn't send one for B as well, so it does not get a copy of topic B. And that's that's kind of the basic idea. You, you can publish and many people can receive a subscription. Something to be aware of is that uh, the broker, I don't think, has a concept of who published it. Many people can uh, publish to a specific topic. So the, the MQTT client one doesn't necessarily own topic A. All of the all of the clients could publish to that topic and all the subscribers would get the update. So it's not an it's not an ownership model. It's a it's a topic and message model. It's up to you to make sure that the 
that the uh, people who publish to given topics make sense and there's not a fight in between two clients as to what the proper value, proper last message is for uh, topic A because it's, it's an event driven model. Messages go out, message go, go up to the broker and then get distributed out and that's basically it. So I want to show you where this fits in in the software stack of the ESP8266 and the host of the Mosquito MQTT broker. So over here, or actually let's start down here at the bottom. I show a cloud and I label it as a TCP network, TCPIP network over Wi-Fi and Ethernet. And the main part about this is, is that it's a TCPIP network which means simply that this server hardware and this ESP8266 hardware both have IP addresses. And if the ESP sends a message from its IP address to the server's IP address, the message arrives. How that happens really isn't super important. Uh, maybe the ESP8266 is hosting uh, its own uh, you know, Wi-Fi network, maybe you have a home router, maybe the server is hosting the Wi-Fi network, doesn't matter. The point is messages have to be able to get from to on the basis of the IP address. That's really, really all I mean by this cloud there. It could be the internet for all I care. It just has to be routable. So over here in the server side we have uh, on top of the hardware itself we have the operating system which contains essentially the networking layer it can be linux mac windows doesn't really matter for this side mosquito as i mentioned is a c plus plus application that rides on top of that one of one of the clients that i use in my automation systems is openhab which is a java program so there's a layer of java in between openhab and the actual operating system but essentially openhab the MQTT client within OpenHab goes through Java, invokes its networking, which invokes the operating system's networking, which opens that connection between OpenHab and Mosquito and allows both event publication and subscription notifications to flow bidirectionally between those two. Similarly, uh, Mosquito has a connection open all the way over to the Arduino. So starting at the top, the Arduino sketch invokes the uh, server, the the uh, broker connection routine inside this Adafruit MQTT library. There are other libraries, by the way, besides the Adafruit MQTT library. Uh, I, I've this is the first one I've used. It seems fine. Maybe it's missing some features that other ones would have, but uh, they're you know for for what I've been doing, it's been just peachy. Of course, the Adafruit MQTT library uh, invokes the Arduino core libraries, which have been integrated with ESP8026 SDK, which ultimately sends messages to the uh, CPU registers on the hardware, which finally energizes the antenna and sends out a Wi-Fi message and uh, forms this connection uh, to the Mosquito broker. And the Arduino sketch is really sort of where all the motivation for doing anything in your automation system will reside mostly, you know, I guess some of it could reside within uh, OpenHab in the form of scripts and rules and things like that. But in my systems, usually uh, you know, the scripts are fairly minor and most of the, the, the meat of the program, the programming work happens in this Arduino sketch. This is where you say, if GPIO5 changes state, then I want to publish an MQTT event to all interested parties. The Arduino sketch is where you would say to the Adafruit MQT library, I would like to subscribe to the washing machine topic and somebody else that uh, sends the washing machine event to Mosquito would um, cause the Mosquito to use the connection that had been formed between the Arduino sketch and Mosquito to send, a, send that message, a copy of that message, all the way to the Arduino sketch. So, for example, in, if the uh, washing machine is detected as being on, it could in, change the state of GPIO4. This is the basic idea. So, just to review, we have the ESP82 hardware itself, the manufacturer's SDK. Arduino has integrated with the manufacturer's SDK so that the ESP8266 is effectively 
or, or pretty close to a an official Arduino. It's got very good support. Not everything's perfect, but it's very good support. You can program it right from the IDE. It acts and works almost exactly like a normal Arduino. The Adafruit MQTT library, which implements the MQTT pr protocol. This is instead of uh, invoking networking routines in the core libraries yourself, the Adafruit MQTT library is doing all that for you. So you have things like connect a broker, ping the broker to keep the, uh, keep the connection alive, publish an event, subscribe to an event, and you can pull this library to see if you've received any updates about any of your subscriptions. And of course, all of that uh, polling and the act of subscribing, the act of publishing, all of that is invoked from the Arduino sketch itself, which you write in the regular browser. So I hope this kind of gives you an idea of, you know, first of all, the, um, the model for, for Mosquito, event publication, event subscription, and then where it sits in the two main software stacks in the hardware that uh, I have been using.